I was good at biology and good at chemistry, so it was pretty natural to become a biochemist. And Cambridge was a very good place in those days, probably still is, to be a biochemist because the Department of Biochemistry had been set up many years before by this chap here, who was an amazing visionary. He was one of the first people of his generation to really expect that you would be able to explain all the complicated phenomena that made up the life process in terms of simple chemistry and physics. And I'll give you a couple of pieces of evidence of, 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 of that. This is actually the title page of the Festschrift that was presented by him by past and present members of his laboratory. And you can see from the titles of the pieces, you know, the biochemistry of the individual, um, something about life and living, chemical aspects of morphogenetic fields, a speculation on, on muscles. I mean, these people were ambitious in their aims. They really wanted to understand important and interesting things. And they knew that in the end, they would be understood in those terms. 